Good morning everyone. This isn't um, a teaching from the word so much today. I've got something to share for some mums. And basically, uh, the Bible does say in Proverbs 31 that of her, of the Proverbs 31 woman, her children will arise and call her blessed and her husband also, and he praises her. So uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Mums are pretty special at the best of times. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Amen. But um, also, because we've had such a confined time recently, I really like the, like the idea of um, all those kids that are at home able to have an opportunity to do something a little bit special that's fun for them and that's also really cool for mum. So I have, I know it's backwards, but it says, Happy Mother's Day, Mum. It's got Jesus loves you. And then there's a little, little critter down here. Right? So what happens is that this is a movable card and as you raise it, as you open it, you see something change. So I'll just open it for you. Hopefully it works right. Ready? So that the flowers grow as they're watered. <laughs> and it says here's some fast growing flowers for you. And down here it's got, it's changed to I love you. Okay. And then this little Ribbon at the top allows it to be hung so that you can just sort of hang it up like this somewhere for mum to be able to look at. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually made a video for how to make this and I've got, I've created templates for it as well. And if anyone would like to have them, they just need to let me know and I will um, post the link for the video and I can arrange um, giving you the files for the templates. Okay, it's a pretty easy project. All you need is some like some old manila folder or some light card. That's what I've used for this one. A lot of my stuff I use recycled stuff for, but if you want to use recycled cardboard, a lot of the time it's not white and that might be the only problem that you have. You could uh, cover it, like print the, um, print the templates out, color those in and stick them to recycled cardboard. That would work as well. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I might be back later with some other stuff, but I wanted to share my card. All right, see you soon. Well, hello. So this is um, a demonstration of how to make a movable Mother's Day card. And what happens is that when you open, this is a very rough mock-up just with paper. And when you open it, the flowers grow and um, with the finished version though instead of just having the flowers grow there's actually a watering can that um, causes them to grow so the flowers come up as you open the card so I'm just going to show you how to make it now these are the pieces obviously but um, when you do it you get a template that has the pieces like this so you can print them out and then transfer them to some cardboard or some lightweight card. And so and that's the inside pieces. And as usual, as I always say, color before you cut and glue anything. So always color first because it's really hard to do anything like that afterwards. So I'm going to just do a quick, a quick color of these just so you get an idea of, of how to work. Of course, we'll have to speed it up. Oh, and the little snail goes up the side too, you see? So when you see the second, when it opens up, you have the second one. So we're just going to do a very simple colour in so you can see how it works. This is a great Mother's Day card. I actually did another version of it as a birthday card as well. I just changed the, the writing in it, obviously, <laughs> so that the person... Now, these two pictures are supposed to be the same thing, so you might as well colour them simultaneously so that you get some continuity there. Um, yeah, but like I said, it did actually work really well as a personalised um, birthday card, too. I've... Um, done them before in watercolours as well. As you can see I'm not, you know, 
doing a brilliant job here. Just want to give you an idea of how it works. You can take all the time you need to do a better job. Watercolour is quick and easy. And when I did the birthday card, instead of putting mum there, I actually put the person's name. So it's very personal. Um, Watercolour is a bit quicker too. So, just get a bit of extra shading in here. It's very rough, isn't it? <laughs> and I feel very conscious of keeping you there just while I colour in. But, What I might do, what I will do, is take my time and then what I can do is just speed up, speed up the video. So that's what I'm going to do. So I don't need to talk any.
I'll put those away in a minute. All right, so first thing we can do is fold all the dotted lines. So fold that there, try and keep the sides flush. Um. It's always good to fold it both ways get a really good fold. So I wanted the bottom to come up a little bit and put the dotted line on the back. Not at the front. Okay. okay. Then we can fold these ones over. These are just tabs to glue the front bit down because it keeps the um because this goes in here and it keeps it it makes it slide well see so we put tabs on that so that it stays where it ought to because in this one it didn't have the tabs and see what happens it just it sort of slips out to the side so i added these extra things for that reason and then we fold this one under, see? Fold under and glue to B. This is B. Okay. So, the way that I do this, oh, this one needs a fold too. So, there's this, see this little dot just here? that's actually where the crease goes so if you line it up or even if you want to um, you know measure it um, so that dot is here it's at the The four and a quarter inch or the ten I think it's almost eleven. Yeah, almost eleven centimeters. But I think I'll just fix the template so it's easy for you to fix. <laughs> so anyway, the what you can do is line your ruler up with the edge and just fold it there okay Oops. fold it back both ways if you keep your sides flush you should have a decent um, straight line so fold it back both ways um, because this piece actually gets glued into this piece see all right um, now these things here are for holes for a hole punch and I'll show you why it's just easier to open the card so there's the hole punch on that side too but you can do that after you've glued it together all right so um, I'm going to use a glue stick today just because it's quicker but I actually recommend using PVC or something like that um, as a better more stable thing but this will just mean that I can work with it today to put the hole in it and everything because you don't want to put the hole in it while it's wet so you just center this match it up to the top and have it equal sides equal flush on equal sides like that just 
square it up. As best you can. Okay. So then you see it moves. Okay. Now we have this bit. And that just sits in this bit here. Open those up so they don't get in the way. And you line it up that way. Okay. And then these hold it in place. So you press those down, and then this comes back up. See? Now you can you can tape it too. Like um, I think, actually, I think when I've done it before, I think I've taped it as well, just for added um, what you can do. I'll just show you. If you want to, you can. You can add some tape on this side. Just on the inside with the sticky side up. This gives it a bit of extra um, a bit of extra grip. So then when you stick your stick this back down tape as well holding it in place and then see when you open it, it goes like this opens see? now we can put a hole in here a whole bunch so you line up line up the hole there Nice clean hole. It's pretty well positioned too. That was a fluke. And then um, just a little piece of ribbon, which I don't have with me. Hold on. You can use a bit of. Um, Can use some of this paper raffia. Okay, if so I can find the end, that's always the fun part. Um, taped. There's the end. Oops. Fiddly. What we can do is just um, take a bit of this, all right, and uh, just thread it through. Actually, no, I think what I do is take it and put a knot in it. like that. Okay. And then you can thread it through the hole. Loop it through. Well, 
I probably would prefer it the other way actually with the the knot down low but okay so then you can do it the other way if you like if you prefer it to be that way but see the idea is that you can use this to lift the card open because it works better all right so lift the card open and then you can actually hang the card you know like you can put it on a hook so you can hang the card then put it on a hook or something like that so that it hangs see hangs open okay so that is the Mother's Day card watch the flowers grow and then you can actually hang it up like this I don't think you can see that here you go can you see that <laughs> hopefully <laughs> alright I'll put a picture of it up anyway okay so that's how you make the Mother's Day card okay so this is how the card looks to open as you open it you see the flowers start to grow till they're full size and then you can hang it by the loop at the top just see that again from here open it and see the flowers grow yay